Shane is a pain in my <laughs> and a brilliant guy. Nate and I had actually been developing and pitching a non-hosted series about evolution in the age of humans. Then we met Shane. Shane Campbell Staten is a singular phenomenon. Shane is the real deal. He is a brilliant scientist at Princeton University, publishing multiple studies a year in the top scientific journals in the world. He's also a dynamic and charismatic personality. I'm sure there's a ton of knowledge here, but it is funky. Everything he does, he does it 300%. He has big ideas, one of which was for a TV series about evolution in the age of humans, hosted by him. And I think Shane coming to us and proposing himself as host, which is like, a ballsy move, but totally justified because he's got the goods. Gave that pitch sort of the secret sauce, I think, to, to, to put it over the edge. The show is really Shane's personality coming through and his life experience, both as a biologist, but also as a human. There are things that I have seen that I cannot unsee, and I will be having a whole different kind of nightmare from now on. <laughs> Watching Shane have conversation after conversation, often in, in, in situations that might have been uncomfortable. Do you consider yourself a redneck? Hell yeah. You proud to be a redneck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How can you love nature, come out to kill nature? I ask myself that a lot as I get older. He handled it so gracefully, and really went a long way to making the guests on this show feel like they could share their thoughts. I'm, you know, from a European background, and I have no Hawaiian blood in me, but I am from here. I, I don't think you can deny that I'm from Hawaii. Shane just, he really brought a genuine curiosity and could weave together the points characters were making across not just an episode, but throughout the whole series. More powerful to think that the entire ecosystem has been going for millions of years come along in 15 years and fundamentally changed aspects of this ecosystem. It's absolutely incredible. Shane reacting to, to new things and to what we were all going through together was one of the highlights. Wow. Good job. There you go. The backstrap of a deer. God, that sounds fine. Take her back. Bingo. Oh. Oh, a little piece of my soul died just now. We're along for the ride. We're learning together. I want to go talk to, to those folks with the hairless cat. Do you have to put sweaters on them? Yeah. We have yeah. sweaters, clothes. It's like a suburban mullet. It's like business in the front and party in the back kind <laughs> exactly. of thing going on. Okay. <laughs> and it's really, I think, for Shane, it's like a once in a lifetime experience. Like, I wish I could go back and like talk to 13 year old me. I'd flip out. I'm flipping out now. And then to be able to tell that story is good television. There's one Shane, and he happens to be the host for our show. Have you seen a Yellowstone wolf before? I have not. All right, well, you're about to. Oh, my god. Dude, my He's hair like is literally exactly. standing on end right now. One thing's for sure, human footprint would not be human footprint without Shane. <laughs>